closing in on first pitch in Cleveland. It'll be the Tigers and the Indians. Next. Are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Detroit Tigers and the Cleveland Indians. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Corey Kluber gets the starting assignment for the Tribe in this one. Harold, any thoughts? Matt, I like this guy. He is a really good pitcher. An ERA just a little over three last season. He's usually pretty tough on the opponent. He's going to keep you in the game and give that manager some opportunities late in the game to get a W. I like what this guy brings, and maybe he'll bring it today. Here's the second baseman, Ian Kinsler. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Number three. And we are underway now from Cleveland as the first pitch of the night is taken for ball one. And this is fouled straight back. Not a bad night to bring the parka along 54 degrees at game time. A 1 1 home to Kinsler. And a whiff at a good slider that time. One ball, two strikes. Yeah. Now here it comes. And this is swung on and missed on a great pitch that time. And the leadoff man is down on strikes to get this one started. With that, let's get you a look at the starting nine for the Tigers. Who's the one to watch, Dan? You know, Ian Kinsler is a difference maker right now. He's one of those guys you want at the plate in those big game-defining moments. He's such a clutch hitter. I love watching him in those situations. And hopefully we'll have that in this game as well. Nick Castellanos. Stands in as he looks at a called strike. And set up behind the dish is Gary Simmons as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Well, Maddie, some people say Gary is more of a pitcher's umpire because he features a wider strike zone than some. But I think he's at least pretty consistent about it. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt, I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Miguel Cabrera is in with two away as he takes a ball one and oh. And a good heater as he just watches this baby a ball and a strike. Just underway here in Cleveland. And he takes Down ball two, and it's two and one. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Justin Verlander, a Virginia-born right-hander, gets the ball to start this one. What do we need to know here, HR? Matt, I like this guy. He is a really good pitcher. An ERA just a little over three last season. He's usually pretty tough on the opponent. He's going to keep you in the game and give that manager some opportunities late in the game to get a W. I like what this guy brings, and maybe he'll bring it today. Here's Carlos Lighting Santana now. It lead things Thanks off here in the bottom half of the Carlos first. Santana. Now Lighting here's up. a check swing. Did he go around is the question and yes he did says the man in blue strike one into the windup here comes the 0 and 1 and the shift will not amount to much here as this is lifted in the air out to right field therefore it is Martinez and that's the first out and with that let's get a look at the starting lineup for the Indians 
Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, one man worth focusing on is Edwin Encarnacion. Edwin, as they call him. He's truly one of the great power hitters in the game. I love watching him, and he's got elite power. That, that's the kind of power that he can hit it over the light towers, and he can hit home runs that will show up on show track and, and everything else. So anytime he steps into the box, he's exciting to watch. Lifted the other way to left center, and Upton's got this one. Two away now. Batting third. So here's Francisco Lindor now. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Wow, how about that? He was tempted to make a swing at that pitch right there. That was way out of the zone, but he just kept his hands back enough. That misses 2-0. Verlander into his motion 2-0 on its way chop foul over towards the coaching box. Two balls and a strike here it is. Now a ball hit in the air but in play perhaps down the line. Near the stands and he brings this one back in he took that right out of the first row. Wow. And ending in the books tonight, still scoreless here on MLB Network. Here's the switch hitting Victor Martinez. He'll start things out here against Corey Kluber. Victor Martinez. And the first pitch to the 38-year-old veteran is in for a called strike. Nothing in one. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. Fastball called strike three and there's the first down of the inning. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Indians. And behind the plate, Jan Gomes. You know, he calls one of the best games in baseball. He's got a great pitching staff to work with. But the thing I like about him, he will throw to different bases. And he can only do that because he's got such good footwork. Here's J.D. Martinez. Lifetime against Corey Kluber. He's got eight hits in 26 at bats. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. And that misses ball one. Here it comes, 1 0. A high fastball is in there. Man, I think he's trying to send a message right here. I'm going to challenge you. I like my stuff. I think I'm better than you. I don't care how good a hitter you are. And this guy's a good hitter, by the way. But he came right after him early in the count. Off speed pitch good for strike two. Wow he's cruising right now out there four straight punch outs and working on number five. Squared that one up just a little late. Well that got him in the rocking chair right now a little change up follow up with the fastball and he's a little late with that swing. I'm going to go back with another change up. Boy and they cannot touch him right now five straight strikeouts on the ledger and there are two away Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound right now that's five straight punch outs I love it but I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep Justin Upton is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one look out and that'll give him a close shave. Well, this veteran pitcher lets you know right away what his game plan is. Fastball inside. He's trying to take away that inside part of the plate to open up the outside. Showing us early. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied. Nothing, nothing. Edwin Encarnacion now. He'll be the one to greet Justin Verlander to start the inning. Edwin Encarnacion. Into the windup and the pitch. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball. 1 0. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Talk about certain guys in the lineup that you want to be really careful with. This guy right here is one of those and you can tell he's pitching awfully cautiously and I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did it's ruled a strike. Drilled to the left side and that's through for a hit so a productive start to the inning for the tribe as their leadoff hitter is aboard.
Well, you're not always going to hit the good pitches. You hit the mistakes. And that, that one hung up there, a mistake. Nice Michael piece of hit. Bradley. Here's Michael Brantley. His line against Justin Verlander, 19 hits in 65 ABs. Seven strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. Fastball in there for a called strike. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. Meanwhile here this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases and Carnacion rounds third and is digging for the plate and not in time as the run scores. Well there's one way to get our first one of the game across good hustle there on an RBI triple and they're in good shape to possibly make it do nothing with another base hit here. Lonnie Chisholm Hall will stand in as he rips it on the ground to second. Only play is going to be to first, so score it as an RBI ground out as the lead moves to two to nothing now. And here with the infield back, they were giving him the run on a ground ball, so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Good approach. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. One out. Nobody on. In there at the knees. 0 and 2 now. Here's Verlander now on 0 and 2. Hard on the ground towards short. Played on the backhand. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Those jump throws are always some of the most exciting plays you'll see. So here it is again with Show Track. Shows off some great range, and it's still somehow able to get a lot behind the throw as his momentum was taking him the other way. Not everybody can make that play. And that'll bring up Eric Gonzalez. As he'll swing and pop this one up near second base. And this will be taken in out there by Kinsler, and that ends the inning. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Now, Tyler Collins. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. And he lays off here, but it's a cold strike one. Here's the 0-1. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. He's really put himself now in a position where he's got to battle. Took the first two strikes, didn't swing, and now you just grind out the AB. The next 0 2. And another foul ball. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. There's a fastball that just misses, ball one. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting eight, the catcher number 34. Stepping James in, James McCann. McCann. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Into the windup and the pitch. Yeah. Right over the middle, knee high. Oh, we're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight, and mechanically, he looks really consistent and fluid to me. Bases are empty, one man out. 
Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Well, he tried to get a little cute right there, a little two strike change up. He thought he might get a swing and miss, but man, he left that in the zone. He's fortunate that ball didn't leave the park. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. James McCann goes down for out number two in the top half. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. Might have been sitting on an off speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late, had no chance to put that ball in play. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Gonzalez has got it, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Tigers. They trail it here two to nothing. Digging in, Tyler Naquin. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hits this one hard the other way. Scooped up on the backhand. No problem here. One away. The first baseman, number 41, Carlos. Digging in to try it again. Carlos Santana. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. One out, nobody on. And that misses two and one. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. Kinsler is there for it. Throw on to first, and Verlander's got it going here, two away. Now batting, third baseman, Jose. Stepping Ramirez. in and ready for another shot, Jose Ramirez. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Verlander's ready. Here's the 1 0. Fouled back. Two out, nobody on. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Another try at 2-2. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Upton's under it. He makes the play, and that'll 